the blood test here. I'm gonna cover up some of the details to keep the uh, labs and the doctors out of it. But let's, I'll show you how easy it is to use anabolic steroids and get away with it. Let's go and have a look. Currently, uh, this blood test, I did take anabolic steroids and I didn't take too much though. So. Look at that. Under, in the high end, high normal. So any, any, uh, any drug testing agency will go, yep. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. <laughs> so you can take test steroids and get away. I'm natural, man. Look, my testosterone levels, nothing too, mate. It's all about smart cycling, isn't it? Not using too much. Hemoglobin, this is a bit of a giveaway there. Look at that, 179. And the doctor who saw these blood tests goes, what do you want these blood tests for? And like our personal record goes, oh, everything's fine. But look at that, 179 hemoglobin. It's if you keep, that's why people go from heart disease. Naturally, I do have a high hemoglobin level, my diet and lifestyle. So taking micro dosing levels, but I'm at 180. Hematocrit 55. I was probably maybe a little bit dehydrated, but uh, you get the idea why these guys in the gym can die from heart disease. And bear in mind, I was taking very low dosages. That's how fucking powerful steroids are. Let's have a look. You can just see here, hematocrits. So you can see hematocrits 55, 48, 46, 47. Normally pretty, I'm pretty hard, normally about 45. And then boom, 55, spike there. But all I had to do was drink more water before the test. And I was probably a little bit dehydrated, so I did like a 200k ride the day before. But that's how easy it is to pass the test. Just drink more fucking water. <laughs> Worried about a blood test? Drink more water. <laughs> Again, I got my steroids from local family doctor, not from the gym. Right? And we have all the sodiums. Everything's great. Glucose is a little bit low. Again, I did a ride the day before. So people say, oh, fruit, too much sugar makes you like high blood sugar. It's like, what the fuck? It was low. Urea. Urea turns into uric acid. Low. Creatinine and kidneys really good, you know, things like that. Uric acid, I've too much triggers during acid. Nine to, like low, you know. All this shit's low, man. Calcium 2.44 higher. So all these values can change hourly, so they don't really mean too much, but you can see nothing's too out of the usual there, is it? All my bloods, all my sugars normally doom 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 doom. So all I did the day before was big 200k bright ride. So if you got diabetes, do some more fucking exercise. So you can see low sodium diet, sodium's always good. Probably a bit dehydrated there. So there's little things. All these things really jump up a lot. Liver enzymes, you know, fatty liver, non-existent in durin non-existent. This is, you know, this is long time stuff. Long time stuff. You know, I'm not just a fucking flash in the pan, high carb vegan, be doing this. This is actually a dietary experiment. 15 years. This is a dietary experiment. 15 years. This I'll document all this show what I eat and stuff like that, lifestyle, blood test. This is what I do, man. Any questions down below? That's how easy it is to pass steroid tests. They're a fucking joke. If you get caught, you're just a fucking idiot. Cholesterol, 4.4, nice and low, you know? Low, low, low. So that, my friends, is how easy it is to pass a drug test. Drink more water, don't go in dehydrated, don't do a long bite ride the day before, because uh, your hemoglobin might go up and might trigger your biological passport. But again, it's so fucking easy. Just drink more water, dilute the fuck out of your bloods. Dilute the fuck out of your bloods. And what else can we say? Floyd Mayweather did that. He was actually had a drug test and you started knocking on the door, they came in, Floyd's got a fucking IV saline drip in his arm. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm just a bit dehydrated, you know what I'm saying? Ah, fucking sure, Floyd, you fucking dirty little boxer. Everyone's dirty, man. So anyone who says, I'm not gonna kill my full natty bra, but they're getting pretty crazy results or pretty crazy paycheck, you know what's going down. And again, just because someone does steroids doesn't make them a bad person. I mean, you've got teenage girls taking sex steroids, not getting pregnant. You've got teenage boys taking steroid, sex steroids to get a bit more swole, get a bit more gains, buy my diet plan, etc. That's just the marketing industry. You'd have to be a fucking idiot to say, oh, I do anabolic steroids. Um, look how big I am, or shredded, or whatever. Here, buy my diet plan. No one's going to fucking buy it because there's such a social stigma about taking anabolic steroids. There's such a stigma about it. Drink alcohol? No worries, mate. I mean, how many people die from alcoholism? Fucking shit tons. Roid rage? Doesn't really exist. Alcohol rage? See it every fucking Friday, Saturday night. <sighs> I don't support taking anabolic steroids. I had personal curiosity. I did my experiment. I was transparent about it. I got slammed for it, but I don't give a fuck because I'm more about showing people the truth about drugs and sport, etc. I don't, my money, I don't get a paycheck based on my ascetics. It was like, no fucking shit, you don't. I don't get a paycheck based on my physical performance or my aesthetics, so I don't have any pressure to dope, to cope, because I need to, need to. But that leaves me in a unique position where I can go, hey, look, let's get on some drugs, let's show you some results, let's show you how easy it is to pass drug tests or whatever. 
some people will know and understand. Drugs are easy to get. Remember, I got my drugs from the local family doctor, not from some smacky on the street or gym rat, from the local family doctor. They're easy to get. They're cheap as fuck. Even cheaper if you're in Canada or US or Europe. Australia's pretty tough, but it's still easy to get. <laughs> That's what I mean, man. Steroids are part of society. Once more people understand that and wake up to it, then that's where we can start changing the system. It's nice, but I prefer guys who ride bikes. Real men ride bikes. Real men ride bikes. Might try my uh, Defiant one of these. <laughs>